I am here with Annie from Skies Magazine, and the question is, what makes the G-Series flaps and ailerons on the FX2, the FX3, and the X-Cub different than the legacy Cub ailerons on a first-generation carbon Cub, on a Super Cub, or a Top Cub? The main difference in the ailerons is these ailerons are aerodynamically balanced. When the pilot deflects the aileron, to full extension one way or the other, the airflow stays fully attached. There's not a negative pressure area created that makes the ailerons heavy as the airplanes go faster in flight. With the G-Series flaps, and the main difference is that the hinge point is an inch and a half lower. So when the flaps are deployed, it creates a gap, allowing high pressure air from underneath the wing to spill over the top of the flap, allowing slower flight at less alpha angle or at less nose high angle than you could with a legacy style flap on a cub, on a traditional cub. And I can show that when I deploy them. There's the flaps at full extension. Here's the gap I can stick my hand through. Um, and this is where high pressure air from underneath the wing would be spilling over the top of the flap, slowing the airplane down.